one of the other main reasons that we want to go and check out this memorial hall is because they do a changing of the guards every hour on the hour. We are going to uh, Taipei 101, which used to be the tallest building in the world, but I'm sure we'll, we'll hit you with some knowledge bombs when we get closer and we had time to go on Wikipedia. Good morning, it's our second day in Taipei today. Yesterday we did a lot of, um, I don't know, it's like exploring and yeah. with a little bit of night markets and food and everything. Today is like our tourism go around and see all of the sites sort of day and then tomorrow will be and tomorrow's vlog will be more around food and a food tour so this is the place that we're staying it's called chain hotel this is probably the highlight <laughs> giant bed it's actually two beds put together <laughs> so it's a weird bit in the middle but honestly i could sleep sideways on it if i wanted to um i think i mentioned the other day accommodation cost in taiwan can be really expensive we paid Maybe it was like a, oh, just over a hundred New Zealand dollars for this, so I'll put the conversion on the screen. But it's a pretty basic room, it'll keep us going. TV and everything there behind you, which doesn't really matter. But this area here is uh, it's pretty nice. You can see we're very, we're very moved in and settled and unpacked. Yeah, there's stuff. a lot of shit over there. Um, we're gonna go down now, get ourselves some coffee, have ourselves some breakfast, and then put on more layers of clothes before <laughs> we go out and venture out. I think it's blue skies again, so. It's uh, yeah, let's get this day started. I need some coffee. <laughs> we just had the most nutritious start to the day. Mm -mm -mm. Danger had about 15 pieces of toast <laughs> and 12 coffees. <laughs> There's a lot of like very like tofu-y and um, strange breakfast yeah, foods there. There's not like any descriptions or anything to kind of know what what it was. Yeah I think we'll save the weird food eating for the tour tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to the well, first stop on the tour Memorial Hall which is one of the most iconic buildings in Taiwan as a whole apparently from the very quick wiki search that I did just now it's um, it was constructed in honor of a president one of the other main reasons that we want to go and check out this memorial hall is because they do a changing of the guards every hour on the hour so we've just paid 150 we're gonna be using the metro a lot today so we paid 150 um, to get to use this for until the end of service today which will actually save us quite a lot of money because I think we're going to be going up and back. So just arrived now walking into this, it's like a big open like grassy complex area with like a couple of these large uh, like temples like scattered around. They are so big, we actually really didn't expect it. I think we're just trying to, it's only about 15 minutes until they're changing the guards, so we're walking around now trying to trying to sort of find where that spot is. Stace might have found a little vantage point here, so we're walking over. Hit, like, have a look at this. You can see the size of these poles here. So large. And then we've got like a big open square here. This place is like beautiful. No, I didn't, really didn't expect this. And then like gardens. just walked around the other side now thinking that this was the biggest one and seen this guy <laughs> okay we're a little bit confused we've got like 10 minutes oh there's some guards babe see them okay so now we've spotted the guards you guys might not be able to see on camera there but they are down there so I think that's where we're heading to go and try and see the changing over So this one behind me <laughs> is Stacy. <laughs> that one behind me is actually the National Theatre. We just walked out from back around that, but now not actually sure what that building is over there. Um, 
yeah, it's so grand and like, I don't know, it's really impressive. And not too busy at all at the moment, it's 11 a.m. Um, well, about to be, but we're gonna head over now and try and catch this changing of the guards. We managed to follow the crowd and get in there just in time to see the changing of the guard. It's such, it's such a cool and interesting tradition to see it being swapped over like that and it's really like quiet and respectful in there as well. There was loads of people, probably a couple of hundred, but just the whole area was just like silent and just all you could hear were the noises of like the guns or the movement or their feet or the stamping, you know. You can see everybody starting to like crawl around behind us now, but we're just looking down over this big square here. Really awesome spot. Thanks to the sign here, we now know that. That one is the National Theatre, that is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, and that one is the National Concert Hall. So we've been wandering around now for a couple of hours, just sort of taking in this Memorial Hall area. It's insane how like grand it is. Everywhere you look there's something, it's just huge. Yeah, even the, even the gardens are like big and yeah. like well maintained and beautiful just like it seems everything in the <laughs> yeah. city is not calling the people fat big but just the city's i'm going too far what are we doing next <laughs> and cut we are going to uh taipei 101 which used to be the tallest building in the world but i'm sure we'll we'll hit you with some knowledge bombs when we get closer <laughs> and we had time to go on wikipedia yeah be careful there's some big kbs coming in <laughs> most subways would probably have like graffiti all over them this one's got like art pieces <laughs> lining the whole hallway. So we're just stopping, very classy, we're just stopping for a quick look to try and make sense. Well, not even make sense, because it is quite easy. So this where is are where we? we are now. Oh, okay, and so we're in like an intersection as well, yep. aren't we? So we're gonna go here, past our, that's where we're staying, right. and then to Taipei 101 World Trade Center. Nice. Easy. Real easy, and no transfer either. No. Street line. So we've just arrived at Taipei 101 station. Very big. <laughs> What's that? What did you say? I feel like I'm like <laughs> wobbling. <laughs> oh my god, it's so tall. You drunk? <laughs> Maybe soon. Okay, first knowledge bomb. Uh, Taipei 101 is 508 meters tall and it was the world's tallest building from 2004 to 2010. <laughs> Two of knowledge bombs. Hit us. <laughs> you with it? Okay. So the circular things that you can see on the front of the building, and I think it must be on all four, is is um, reflective of a ch ancient Chinese coin, which symbolizes the accumulation of wealth. Nice. Nailed that one. <laughs> and then the second thing is, which is quite basic, but it's quite cool, is that the way that the building sort of does this. I think yeah. it's every seventh floor or so. It sort of comes back in. That's supposed to represent like a flower in bloom. Wow. Who knew? Drop the mic. So we've come inside the building now at the bottom of the tower. I think there's a shopping mall in here as well, which maybe we'll have a look at afterwards, but we're just waiting to go up the lift. And I think we've got to go up to the fifth floor to buy tickets to then go up the top. And with our cards that we got from the Metro, I think we get 10% discount as well. So it's a good day. So that was uh, 600 Taiwanese dollars each, um, but we got 10% off with our uh, one day passes for the Metro. 
Cool, so it did work out well? Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe one side of the like outdoor area might be closed, but like I think we're pretty lucky with the blue skies here. It looked like it was supposed to be raining a lot while we were here, so fingers crossed we have good uh, visibility. That lift was so quick and so fast to get up onto the 89th floor that like my, my ears were popping <laughs> It was sore as well? Yeah, it's actually sore. We're just, wow. Just walking to the edge now. This is such an incredible view. We're so lucky with the visibility today. Danger committed to getting getting the shot. This is the perfect place to see like just how diverse Taiwan or Taipei actually is. Like we can see so much from here. Obviously, we're very high. We got like stadiums and then like a temple there. There's like grassy areas. It's like a lake in the middle of town. There's like more greenery down here. Yeah, tennis courts, architecture. Where's the courts, man? Down here. Oh yeah. Then you've got like running tracks and like fitness areas and then over the back you can see like all the green of the city all up around here like the mountains and everything it's just seems like there's just so much going on there's, oh there's more over here as well in fact that might even be the airport so come to the center of the building because we saw a sign that said something like super mega big wind damper is that the word yeah, wind so. damper and it's this enormous like golden um, cylindrical ball that just hangs in the middle of the building and apparently it reduces oh there's a stat right there apparently it reduces the movement of the building by 40 percent and this thing weighs 660 tons it's it's quite incredible to think that that hangs in the middle and stops movement i'm still struggling with that in my head it's impressive i've never heard of it before so maybe it's normal maybe it's a thing in other buildings but There's <laughs> wind coming through everywhere already, isn't it? That was pretty short lived. It's just like two stories up. It's the same thing but freezing with less of a view because the wind's incredible up there. So we're just going to probably head towards the exit now and move on to the next thing on Operation Tourism <laughs> Trip Day Extravaganza Trip. <laughs> <laughs> 